Oh, there's the vaporizer ball. Oh. But safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Yeah, vaporization definitely sounds like a rather so, terminal disability. So if it goes in there, maybe we want it to come out here? Mm-hmm. Yep, get the ball into the receptor and you something activates. Must be the pride of subject on down here. Yep, so it's not just all boxes and super buttons. Hmm. It's vaporizer balls and receptors as well. I think that's really all the cases of uh, objective items, if you will. We're like uh, putting Warning something somewhere. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Huh? What happens then? Yeah, after a little while, if it doesn't go through a portal, um, or hit the receptor. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Yeah, if the um if the ball doesn't go through a portal after X amount of time it blows itself up. Wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> that caught me off guard. I was lucky on that one. Indeed. I guess I just would have fallen on the floor. Yeah. The, the beam that the uh, scaffold floats across will not kill you. Apparently, in the older, like, playtesting builds of Portal, it was like an electrified rail that would kill you if you touch it, but then they changed that. So, hmm. instead of killing you if you touched it, you just fall through. Please know that we have added a consequence oh. for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, mm. followed by death. Ew. Good luck. That don't look like water. <laughs> that looks more like crude oil to me. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't it. Let's try this one. Oh, <laughs> just a split second too late. Oh, oh, it's okay, so... <laughs> so once it goes through there... I gotta get at that one. You fail. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We'll see. <laughs> Infinite loop. Well, that's... The, I can... Kind of like the oh, no. endless fall. Oh, that was close. It... Hmm. Gotta figure out how to get there first. Well, that would get there, but how do I get there? <laughs> That's what you have to find out. Let's see. must have dumped a lot of really toxic stuff into that water. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's even it's even fuming green stuff. It's got that whole oily slick and ew. Another one. Another radio. That's what those are. They're basically sci-fi radios. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. What, like friggin' water that steams and has an oily texture? That's supposed to enhance the testing experience? <laughs> well, I guess, it's, I guess the control groups didn't last long. Mm. <laughs> 
Fairly safe one. Oh, I can go through. Yeah, you can go through, but the box can't. And neither can your portals. Yeah, see? Mm. If you stuff a box through that thing, it um, vaporizes your portal. The or it vaporizes the box. Apologizes for Oops, this we'll see. Test chamber. Okay. It is? Well, one mystery solved out of several. On the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Nope. Yeah, the... I don't know why, but your portals can't go through those grids either. Um, so I gotta get this through that... Aha. Who said anything about getting it through the grid? <laughs> Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. Epic fail. We would quit now, she says, while you're about to put the box on the super button. <laughs> yeah. She's evil. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that much? You remember good old GLADDOS? <laughs> mm -hmm. Even a misleading in the name. Anything but GLAD, really. Where's the orange? You can see the kind of glitter in front of the portal. Like the portal creates a sort of glitter in front of it, like that. Oh, that's it? Well, you see the glitter from it. I don't get it. I think you need to jump through. Oh. Like, as you're going through, you need to jump, I think. Is that about right. friggin' how momentum is preserved through portals? Yeah, yes, the fling maneuver, I think, is what the devs call that. Where you put one portal on the ground and then another on a wall and then you jump through the one on the ground and it'll catapult where, you through the one on the wall. Where's the one? On, where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. Mm -hmm. Whee! Spectacular. Huh. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Wonder what that means. Oh, it's like um, it's like a, a sort of phase indicator. Like this is phase one of the test, or of this room rather. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump into that probably. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> well, it's not like it matters. So I want to. Come out there. Do I wait for it to move, or do I just jump? I think you just jump. Uh, if memory serves. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy oh. thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yeah, this is, see how it's like a, the dice block shows two now? So yeah, you're on phase two now. provide a safe testing environment. In mm. dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. 
For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Oops. <laughs> well, there's the first death. <laughs> I, I think you press either F or space to restart. Okay. The admission center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. Yeah, moral of the story. So I gotta run through it, I guess? Or is there some other... Well, the moral of the story is look before you leap. Because... Right. But I mean, I want to get... Um... Yeah, the portals... That, that what thing's gonna be placing portals at various locations throughout the room. Just like the first portal gun. Well, that one's no good. So I use that one and I run and hope that I make it to the... I don't think you can jump that far. Alright, well we'll try that one see where it went. Oh hey, Salt Lake Ground. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's a mini button. Not a super button, but a mini button. Oh, time. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Now you're back to where you were before. That was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens if you're halfway through? Uh, it just pushes <coughs> you out on the other side, I think. So. Now, this was open before. Well, uh, it closed because a timer went up. You can push that button again. Oh, okay. Oops. Now I do that, maybe, and wait for... Yeah, I think you're onto something. Of course, the that portal launcher is a bit on the slow side. Well, we'll just... Don't touch the ball. Don't touch what? That. Oh. <laughs> well, let's we'll send it somewhere. Where's it going to go? Hopefully somewhere useful. Uh, that's not exactly useful. Well, I'm confused. I think it's going the right way now, or at least the ball is. Yep. Did you hear that sound? Mm hmm That sound means the ball's hit the receptor. Where is the receptor? It was, uh... It's somewhere in that room. Oh, there it is, right below that door. Oh. So now it's just a matter of getting to that portal gun. Because, uh, the... Yeah. So I need... Yeah, you can just look through the portal to see where it's going, by the way. Okay, where's the exit? Uh, there, I think a, oh, there. Button, a button appeared in front of you. Yep, uh, so you put the left mouse button to, yep, just like that. Uh, you remember exactly how it works. I don't need too to slow. So if I fell in now, would I have to start at the beginning, or would it put me back here? I think here? you'd have to start at the beginning. I'm not totally sure if there's like a checkpoint when you pick up that gun or not, but 
probably better off not testing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm having a difficult time figuring out which is slower, the spinning portal gun on the platform or that frickin' scaffold thing. <sighs> how much longer do you think you're gonna go for in this session? I don't know, how. whatever you want. <laughs> 